Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about why you must stay away from negative people. There's an old saying, I don't know who actually first said this, but it's attributed to Anonymous, but it's been said by a number of people that you should stay away from negative people because they have a problem for every solution. And I'm sure you've known this, where you've talked with somebody, you know this person who you tell them about something and they have some reason why you shouldn't do it. Now. I'm not talking about somebody who has been there, and so maybe they're telling you some pitfalls that they went through. I'm talking about people just put everything down. They always find fault with something. They always try to find some negativity about it because there could be a practical reason for somebody to say, you know, here's the problems with that thing you're presenting, but here's a way you could make it work. That's perfectly reasonable because you certainly don't want to just go and be a fool blindly making the same mistakes other people have already made. So you want to learn from other people's mistakes. That way you don't have to learn from your own mistakes. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who just bring you down. They Any positivity you bring, they have something negative to try to extinguish your fire. Now, it's also important you make sure you're not one of those people. You know, many, many, many years ago, I remember somebody telling me something and I said something negative about it. It wasn't even purposely trying to put a damper on what they were saying. It was just some instinctual thing. And I immediately caught myself and apologized and corrected my thoughts, my, renewed my mind about that particular idea. Because while I had bad experiences in that business area, there was no reason to be negative about it. I had learned a lot of valuable things that I could pass on to people that would be a blessing to them. I didn't have to immediately start shooting something down because I had problems with it in the past. And of course, I corrected that mistake and don't do it anymore. So you want to make sure that you're not the person who is being negative about things, who is just putting a damper on the positivity and the high vibration that somebody else is in about a particular subject. Now, obviously, if the subject is something negative, something that's harmful to them, like they're all excited about drugs or something that's going to hurt them, that's a different issue. But we're talking about normal things where you need to be that person who is there to speak as the oracles of God, who is there to speak edifying words, who could lift people up. And yes, if you know an obstacle in the issue they're talking about, you can certainly present that to them. That's not being negative. And you can show them how to go in a positive way around that issue to get the best results. People will appreciate that, but no one's going to appreciate somebody just downplays everything they say and just brings negativity. And so if you have someone like that in your life, it doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter if they've been your friend for decades. You're going to have to get away from that kind of a person. Now, the first thing, like I've said in many videos, at least give them a chance to reform themselves, to renew their mind, because many people may not even know they're doing it. So I think it's unfair to just cut them out of your life when you haven't even given them the benefit of the doubt, so to speak, and allowed them time to correct themselves. They honestly may not know they're doing it. Like I've talked about before, where I've known people who said they were very positive. And I'm thinking, positive? You're one of the most negative people I know. And then you learn that they are comparing themselves to other people they know who are super negative. So they are seeing themselves by virtue of being less negative than those people that they're positive. So many people just do not know. It's not malicious. They're not trying to be that negative person. They literally think they are being positive. They literally think that they are being a high vibration person. So have grace, have some mercy on those people. Be understanding and kind and compassionate because at some point in your life, you probably were in a similar position or maybe you were in error in some area of your life. So correction's fine. You want to do it from a kind heart. You're not judging them. You're not condemning them. It's from a loving heart that wants to see them better. And you want them in your life. That's why you're telling them this. You don't want to have to cut them out of your life. You don't want to have to go and be around other people because you love them and you want to be around them. So you're sharing with them how positive you want to be and that you don't want to have someone just coming in and shooting down every idea you have. 
And you can just ask them, listen, I want constructive criticism. I want areas that this could be obstacles and hurdles and things I got to watch out for. I want all that. But I don't want it to be to just shut down my idea. I want you to help me find the way to make my idea work. Constructive criticism is fine, but just shooting it down with no good alternatives is not fine. That's just negativity for the negativity's sake. There's no benefit in that. There's no goodness in that. No one's benefiting. No one's blessed. And you can just share this with people in your own words, just how you want to be positive. You want to be a high vibrational state and you can't be around people who are negative and shooting down your ideas all the time. Now, consequently, you may have to get rid of some people. Some people just may not be willing to reform, and that's up to them. You can't make it, and you should never say, either you do this or we won't be friends. That's not what it's about. This is just a choice you have to make for yourself. If they refuse, then you go your own way. You do it in grace and kindness. You don't do it manipulative. You don't do it where well, you know you got to do this or we won't be friends anymore. That's manipulation. It should never be about that. Now, that may be what it comes to, but at least give them the opportunity to correct areas in their life where maybe it's bringing you down. Like I said, they may not even know it. They may not realize they're doing it. Maybe something they've been doing for their entire lives. So at least give them a chance to try to reform and correct their error of their ways. Now, make sure that you are not also that negative person in their lives. So if you're doing the same thing, you have no place at all to be telling them, well, I don't want to be negative anymore. Maybe you guys can discuss how you've both been negative. You both have dissuaded each other from doing things that they wanted to do. And you've shot things down that you shouldn't have. And that you want to be more supportive of one another. And you can work together to be more supportive of each other's dreams and goals. That's a good thing. If you've been that person that's also been negative. Because you have no place to stand, no virtue to speak of if you've been the negative person shooting down their ideas. And then you want to come along and say, well, I just can't be friends with you because you're shooting down my ideas all the time. When it's the same thing you do. You take the beam out of your own eye first, then you can help them with their moat. But for your betterment in life, you have to get away from people who are negative, who people who are shooting you down. People who are bringing negativity and drama and issues of life that you don't want. Understand, too, that get your heart right. Because if your heart's not right, you're going to keep attracting people that bring negativity into your life. You're going to keep attracting more negative situations, more negative people, more bad things that you don't want. So correct that, of course. Guard your heart with all diligence. Make sure you're only thinking about positive, lovely virtuous, praiseworthy things, only thinking about God's goodness and grace. You're not talking lack of limitation. You're not talking problems and discord. You're not talking all the trials and tribulations of the world. You're talking about the goodness and grace of God. You're exhorting people to righteousness. With your good, holy life, with your kind words, with your edifying words that build them up, and you expect them to behave in like manner. That's a fair expectation when you are also presenting that to them. So my friend, I encourage you today, be very diligent about this. You have to be careful about who you associate with. You have to be careful about who you choose to allow to influence you. Even if you think that they don't have any real influence over you, if you're allowing them around you, there's influence going on. And is that what you want to be influenced by? If not, you need to make some corrections. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.